Do you have a problem with separation of powers? I mean, it sounds like you're trying to control the school board. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Are you in favor of this? Then why do you use this? Instead, maybe you should use this. Spending a government's currency does more than anything else to prop up that government. Please starve the monster by using other currencies when you can. The most exciting of these is Bitcoin, the currency of peace. Inflation resistant, it's the easiest money to send and receive over the web. Get started at WeUseCoins.com. that broke the camel's back was the arrogance of the school board when the city asked for their input on the bad cat issue. The city provides police and <clears throat> fire protection. We pay a portion of the salary of the resource officer. We collect the taxes and reimburse the schools. And God forbid that we ever experience anything like Newtown, Connecticut. <clears throat> but in case of such a, an event, um, if it, that such an event should occur, uh, where would the school district be without the police department, Bearcat and all? Superintendent Mike Martin of the Merrimack Valley School District feels quite differently from the Concord administration. And I, I don't want to emphasize that, that they should have approved uh, one way or disapproved, one way or the other, uh, they simply refused to even think that it was any of their business. Uh, but Mike Martin, the superintendent of Merriman Valley, uh, he says, as the superintendent of schools for Merriman Valley School District and the nearly 2,000 students attending school in Pentecost, the Concord Police Department is a trusted and important partner helping our students. Concord School District wants to separate themselves entirely from the city and I really think this should be uh, something that should be considered because there's a very few people uh, with an autonomous school board in Merritt Valley. All the people in all five communities uh, get to vote on the budget. So, and as we know, other cities uh, across the state vote on school budget. So, and I would hope, I know the mayor agrees with me and I would hold my tongue. <laughs> 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 well, we did have the discussion. We did. I'll get the door for you, but I'm also going to ambush interview you. <laughs> Ms. Blanchard, do you have a problem with separation of powers? I mean, it sounds like you're trying to control the school board. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm not trying to control anything. I just think that uh, they should be accountable, and they are the only autonomous school board in the state, so, uh, or whatever that's worth. You're so upset with them for not actively doing what you were telling them to, basically? Um, no, that they didn't uh, respond in such a way that, that they, th they thought that uh, it was none of what the city's doing is none of their business. And I don't think that's the case. Yeah, I, mean, I was at the meeting, and I, you know, I'm no, I'm no big fan of the Concord School Board, but you know, they said that it's just, it's, it's not. We don't have any authority. We, we, we we're going to exercise restraint. I mean, is the concept of a government acting with restraint completely alien to you? I'm not, I'm not saying anything. All right, take care. <laughs> Thank you.
This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by We Use Coins. Dot 